This time, our quadratic polynomial is y equals minus 2x squared minus 8x. So let's take a look at some arbitrary values of x and find out the value of the polynomial for those values of x. So for x equals minus 5, the value of the polynomial is minus 10. For x equals minus 4, the value is 0. For x equals minus 3, the value is 6. For x equals minus 1, the value of the polynomial is 6. For x equals 0, the value is 0. For x equals 1, the value is minus 10. So these are some of the values of x that we have chosen. And for those values, these are the values of the polynomial. So we have taken these values for x. And these are the values of the polynomial that we have calculated above. Now let's plot these points on our graph paper. So the first point is here, minus 5, minus 10. Then we have minus 4, 0, minus 3, 6, so on and so forth. So our first point is here, minus 5, minus 10. Second point is minus 4, 0. Third point is minus 3, 6. Fourth point is minus 1, 6. Then we have 0, 0. And then we have 1, minus 10. So we need to draw a graph or a curve that goes through all of these six points. And we have seen before, the type of graph, it's a special kind of curve that fits through all these points, and we call them parabola. And it looks like this. So this is a special kind of a curve, which is known as a parabola. And it is essentially shaped like a U or a V. In this case, it is upside down, but it could also be facing upwards. Here it is facing down. Now, quickly, if you were to take a look at these two special points as shown by the arrow over here, these are special points because these are the points where the, the graph cuts the x-axis or intersects with the x-axis. And if you take a look at the x-coordinate of these points, that is minus 4 and 0, we will see what is the value of the polynomial. We have done it over here. For x equals minus 4, the value of polynomial is 0. And at x equals 0, the value of the polynomial is 0. So we call minus 4 and 0 as zeros of this particular polynomial, minus 2x squared minus 8x. So if you were to quickly recap these points, graph of a quadratic polynomial is going to be always a parabola. They can be 0, 1, or 2 zeros of the quadratic polynomial. So in this case, we saw a quadratic polynomial with only two zeros. Now remember, the number of zeros cannot exceed the degree of the polynomial. So quadratic polynomial is of degree 2, so we can have a maximum of two zeros. It does not mean that we need to have two zeros. They can be polynomials that quadratic polynomials that have no zeros at all or that have only one zero. And we are going to take a look at those examples next. And finally, the zero of a quadratic polynomial, if there is one, it is represented by the x-coordinate of the point where our parabola intersects with the x-axis.